you're probably wondering how something like this is even possible. How something like this that's very disturbing can actually be possible. Not just by a witchcraft, but also through many years of and this is what this video is about so here we go This is a true story that involves someone that was related to that is related to me. And I was kind of like exposed to it during my ritual abuse. I was exposed to it a couple of times, but this other person, which I'm not going to mention in order to, uh, for privacy reasons, had it worse, had it real bad. This person thought that he, that he was um, actually possibly homosexual. But the sex act that he was engaging in was um, just pure lust. And it wasn't just the sexual acts, it was uh, the way it was done, the fantasies that he had. He went through depression for many years. He took drugs. He drank a lot. When I saw him once in a while, as an adult, I finally got a chance to talk to, talk to him. And he said something about his childhood which sparked up a, it struck a nerve with me because I kind of remembered. Being exposed to something like that, witnessing it. And it was so disturbing, but he had no idea why he was like that. No idea whatsoever. And then I was so heartbroken 
that I had no choice but to tell him why and what I remembered. At first we, we spoke over the phone and then the second time in person. And I told him, you're not gay. Just to let you know, we were, you were most likely went through what I went through, but with you, with you, with you was a little different. And then I named the, the perpetrators within the family. And um, he just broke down and cried. Almost went crazy. Completely crazy. And I said, listen, listen, man, listen. It's not your fault, okay? It's not your fucking fault. So-and-so that did this to us were just fucking sick in the head. And they were into some whatever Masonic order they were into, whatever. That was then, man. I mean, come on, that happened. I'll tell you exactly what happened. And I told them what I remembered from from some of the things that I, that I, that I witnessed. And I said, it probably happened to you in a sense. And, um, you gotta, we gotta realize that it's not, it's not your fault. And then I told them how they actually do it. And this is how they do it. When children that are molested by these type of, uh, Masonic orders. They usually get hypnotized somehow. Some form of hypnotism. And then they and then they um get them to do whatever they want they want you to do. Whether it's performing oral sex on both male and female, or whether it's any kind of any seriously sick uh, sick type of uh you know, and it's always ritual. And then they program your mind into, into believing that you wanted to do this. This is what you wanted to do. You like it. You do it because you like, you wanted to. To put all the blame on you. And then that way, the more negative energy is, because it's to create negative energy. So they can feed off of it. Not only is it that only is it for their own sexual pleasure, their personal sexual pleasure, but also to feed off the negative energy. So they're killing two birds with one stone by doing that, and that's what they're and that's what they're accomplishing. So by realizing the truth, you could actually reprogram yourself. But of course, to get rid of the tendencies, the urges. It's going to be difficult because it was so ingrained into your brain. You're so fucking programmed into your fucking brain. That it's very difficult. But but it's not impossible. So, with that being said, when they hypnotize you and then they make you do these sexual acts, and then they tell you, this is what you wanted to do. You're a sick person. And this and that. Automatically that's how they program you. And then. They pretty much. Erase any memory. Through hypnosis. Through, through some kind of. Um, post hypnotic suggestion. They perform a post hypnotic suggestion. So they won't. So you won't know who the perpetrators are how you got that way and then you grow up with all these tendencies when you see um certain type of uh magazines whether it's gay or straight or whatever and then you wonder why you get aroused and as time goes on when you get to your teenage years it gets even stronger little by little and that's how they collect negative energy from you from for many years 
That's how they keep their power going. That's how they thrive. That's one of the, that's one of the things they do. And to put you through, through guilt, and I mean, that is like one of the most fucked up things that they can do. It really does, it is the most fucked up thing. And he started to feel a little bit better. It took him a while for him to get over it, but he finally managed to. And first, and after a couple of years, he finally came into terms that, that it wasn't his fault. That he was programmed, he was raped, he was a victim. And they actually made him do a bunch of homosexual acts. I can't say exactly what he did as an adult because it's, it's just too, it's too personal. It's, and it's kind of like too twisted and I don't want to say too much on it. But as heartbroken as, as I was to tell him, he also, it also gave him a lot of closure. So if any of you have ever experienced anything like this, please drop a comment in the comment section. Just let me know. If you want to share a story, you don't have to. You don't have to share a story, but if you, if you wish to and talk about it, Please do, and, and if you have any questions, trust me, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer them. So it's not going to be a problem. So again, to all of you, take care.